This is Twit. This look at this new Samsung TV. There's no bezel. I mean, if there is, it's so small you could barely see it. This will also be their 8K. I don't. The screen actually only only takes up 99 percent of the. Oh there's yeah, there's a, this there's little line teeny, at the bottom. Tiny, see, that's one percent. That little teeny one in line. More of a seam than a bezel. <laughs> it's more of a. <laughs> 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 um, it is welfare. It is welfare thin. Welfare thin. Sim. <laughs> no more of a sim than a bezel. It is QLED 8K. LG will also be showing OLED 8K, and there will also be. And I think this is actually the new TV technology that'll be the most interesting. We're going to get Scott Wilkinson to show us the micro LED. What's cool about micro LED, and it was shown last year at CES, is you can assemble a TV from smaller parts. So you can make it as big as you want just by clicking in micro LED sections. Or any shape you want it. Also. Yeah, yeah. Right. Although, so the thing about 8K TV, and I don't, nobody that I have seen has talked in detail about this, is uh, data caps. I mean, if you're talking, 4K sucks up data quickly. Uh, 8K is going to be even worse. How do people like Comcast, who, who was denied your studio naming rights, <laughs> going to deal with this. Uh, I agree with you. I feel like Comcast saw this coming, which is why they put one terabyte limits on my bandwidth. I have a one. But that's nothing. That's nothing if you right. have 8K. And so the idea is you, you, you put the bandwidth cap on now when people say, oh, that's fine because my streaming of Netflix is only 25 megabits. I can easily get in under the one terabyte. And then the minute you go to 8K, you're, and you're absolutely right, Dwight, there are no 8K physical media players. And frankly, I think there probably won't be, right? Isn't physical media like history? It's going to be streaming. You'll be you'll need if if you need right now for 4K, Netflix says 25 megabits, you'll need a hundred megabits, four times more, a hundred megabits for 8K, unless they have some super duper compression. Which is which is the average in the US for broadband. That's your whole that's your, megabits. Yeah. That's at home, that's I don't I get eighty nine. I won't I wouldn't even be able to watch it. Uh, so not to mention so you can look forward to seeing those buffering, buffering, oh, yeah. buffering messages Buffering's again. Back, it'll, baby. it'll be, <laughs> uh, I mean, the, the other thing about 8k technology is that it is literally beyond the physical limits of the human eye to, to discern those, those differences. You know, I appreciate that you can indeed tell the difference between uh, full HD and 4K, but you know, I've looked at 4K versus 8K, uh, and and I I don't uh, you know you know I I don't think you can really see enough of a difference to justify the. Uh, you know the the you know the energy usage, the, the the manufacturing differences, and especially the bandwidth. Right. Um, somebody, I think it was Scott Wilkinson, our home theater guy, said, "Well, with 4K, it's more than just clarity. Of course, HDR helps too, but he also says there's a certain almost ineffable quality. It's not just that you don't see the pixels; it just feels more real." more spatial is that yeah. is that is that airy fairy is that well this this sounds to me like the pitches that people used to make for gold audio cables yep um and <laughs> <laughs> and, and for you, you know yeah you need yep. the gold audio cables yep. because you know those well, you're, you bits could be dropping you're, out you're definitely going to need gold hdmi cables for this <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's that you do have to, by the way, the new HDMI standard 2.1 for this, which means you're going to have to upgrade your cables because there's so much data coming down the cable. It won't be handled by the old HDMI cables. It could be worse, though. I mean, I think well, like one of the biggest embarrassments in my estimation of the last whatever since since you've been, Leo, to CES was was the year that they pushed 3D TVs so hard. Oh, um, what a flop and, that was. Yeah, huge flop, right? So, like, I, like, okay, maybe 4K and 8K, you can't really tell. Um, but but it, at the very least, they're not trying to sell something to you that's, like, actually terrible. Let right? me tell you about quadraphonic audio. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here wow. we go. Wow. No, I mean, I you know, it's so funny how people, right, people, people were like, 
so excited about that at the time. Then you just go back. Like we were talking about the Beatles before. Right. And, and like you listen to those Beatles recordings and you're like, this is all you need. You don't need, like, you don't need a bunch of like extra channels. Um, it's, it's, uh, did you have, yeah, it's wild. Did you have Ed Bot, the oldest person on the panel by about a minute? Did you have one of those joysticks that lets you send the music around the room oh, in your God. quadraphenix? I, I did. I did not. Uh, I did not have one of those. I did have. Uh, How did you survive? I had original Pioneer laser disc players. Oh. Uh, and you know, so I so did too. That. I did, I loved my laser disc players. Oh, and the was, discs. Yeah, I was thinking about it the other day. Shiny discs. Yeah. Yeah. Good I said artwork, something, too. and you guys didn't dispute this, but so let me get your thoughts. Is physical media dead? Is somebody going to make an 8K? ultra ultra hd player or is that just nuts it's dead we don't see even a lot of uhd discs do we no everybody's gonna stream i mean you still see you know red box is still there red box i know i saw one of the outside 7 of every cbs right <laughs> right so there are people who who use said, it but i think that I said, no Lisa, advances look, we, we're in reno we can rent movies again <laughs> <laughs> but, but the people who use red box are not using it for like higher quality right no like no Right. No. So, no. and Redbox, you, you, you do have you, you do have an enthusiast community that is going to I agree. continue I agree. to support Blu-ray uh, and yeah. and its descendants in the same way that there are now vinyl, vinyl. enthusiasts. Exactly. Yeah, it's the right. same people, and, I think. It. Uh, and, it's, <laughs> and they also yeah, have a joystick on their quadraphonic sound. <laughs> but I don't think the there'll same, be a yeah, new format the, to support that. People, I don't right. think there'll be a. They new would system. need a new format. Right. 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 Maybe Blu-ray's good enough. I mean, for a video file, and I, I am, I have to confess, I bought for the movies I really love, that I really want to. Barry Lyndon, I bought the UHD. Oh, that's a great movie. Because that's every movie. frame in that, it's a boring movie. Painting, but, but every frame, every frame is, is a painting. painting. Yes. It, uh, uh, Kubrick literally tried to do that, and so you want to see it as best you can. Yeah. Um, but that's those movies are few and far between. I think. Yeah, so, but I think that's that's where you're going to end up, though, is uh, that, uh, that high definition media is going yep. to be an enthusiast market, yep. and it will always be, you know, th there will there will always be something there for enthusiasts, and you know, they they came up with upscaling uh, to you know to make older videos look better on high resolution on the first generation high resolution uh you know video displays so you you know you get you can you can get certain things like that but to your larger point yeah physical media is essentially dead but maybe 8k will bring it back because nobody's gonna have the bandwidth to, <laughs> i mean to watch this stuff the olympics in uh, this summer in tokyo NHK has mandated will be shot in 8K, even though that's that'll be the first day. It won't. It, this happened with I remember with HD even that you know the first HD sets. Well, you could get if you were in Japan, you could watch it, and and I remember the first we got an HD plasma display in 1998. It was uh, 50 inches or 55 inches at Tech TV. It would cost 10 grand. And it had a logo burn into it in about three days. It was, <laughs> it, they were awful. They and they just basically turned yellow after five years. So, oh, um, yeah, that was a good purchase. 